I would like to chat about professional uh, active communication and just some good guidelines uh, that we can go by so that we communicate well uh, with people in the, the productive world. And this is not, uh, this message is not directed at people who are in a, uh, a financial or a lifestyle position to not have to be in the work world or, or be productive. This doesn't apply to you. It's one of the benefits of being retired or just in a good position like that. I hope to someday be there. For those of us that are actively working and out producing things, let's start with email. If an email is uh, sent to you, it's a good idea to answer it within 24 hours. If you can get to it multiple times throughout the day, that's wonderful. If in your part of your time management strategy is not to do that every hour or immediately on your smartphone, that's okay. Um, but at least once a day is a really good idea. If you work with me as a contractor or a vendor or a referral agent, you're probably checking every 10, 15 minutes, uh, just glancing at your phone to make sure a new email didn't come in, uh, or at least checking hourly or daily uh, for sure. And then writing back. If someone sends an email to you, it's a good idea to write back to that person and let them know that you received that email. Make sure they got the address correct. And of course, you can't keep doing that back and forth. Just so you know, I got your confirmation. Well, I'm confirming I got your confirmation. I, I know there's a, a certain point, but make sure you respond. Uh, so that's kind of that's kind of it for email. Um, let's talk about text messaging. Text messaging uh, in my business, that's what we use. And when we have a, a need for a coach, we send out a text message. And if we don't get a response within a half a minute to a minute, um, and maybe sometimes we'll wait two minutes, then we send out a request to a different coach. And so it's kind of something we need to hear back quickly. One of the reasons is that this is so important for us is that we work with a number of hotels and we have a, a company promise to them to be very squared away with our communication. So if we send a, or if we get a request for something, we like to be able to send out the request to a coach, get the word back in one minute, get right back to the hotel and just be way better than any other activity provider is with that hotel. So it kind of it goes all the way down the line. Everybody has to be pretty squared away to make this make this happen. And yes, I'm sitting recording this on a side road and didn't expect to see that. That's kind of cool. I must be in Wyoming at the moment. Um, so that's text messaging. And uh, Please confirm that you receive text messages. Uh, just getting back quickly is very important. Uh, next thing is uh, our, our phone calls, listening to messages. If we leave a message, if you can check that multiple times throughout the day, that's a good thing. Uh, something about communicating in person is when somebody says something to you, answer them. Let them know that you heard them. If somebody says, hey, just so you know, I'm, I'm going to run over here and I'll be right back nod or say great or thanks or something to that effect so that they know that you heard them. These are just some general guidelines. I'm probably even going to share this with the uh, people that I work with, the coaches that I work with. Hopefully they can benefit from it as well. But as a quick uh, summary, answer text messages, answer emails, do it quickly, definitely no more than a day between answering. Thank you so much for those of you that work with me or uh, otherwise associated with me business-wise. Thank you for being squared away with your communication. It's wonderful for me. Uh, thank you for that. And for those of you that I don't know, I hope this helps you as you uh, decide how you communicate in life.